vast majority of this trial was played out on social media. I think that this trial is an example of that gone haywire, gone amok. And the jury is not immune to that. You think it, the jury saw it? How could they not? I think even... Why do why you keep throwing the jury under the bus, right? Every high-profile case, the jury takes an oath. We promise to not look at shit and do all this stuff. We're going to be good jurors. And now the this shows you, th this woman is sick. Why throw the jury, the only thing she could have said is, hey, I disagree with the jury. But now she's blaming TikTok for her losing? And the jury's corrupt because they had to watch it? This shows you, she cannot just admit, I'm a fucking liar and I got caught. That's all this was. You're a fucking liar and got caught. This video is probably demonetized already because I'm using the F word like crazy. But I'm sorry, people. This is crazy. This is crazy. She can take no personal responsibility for anything. What's wrong with you? Even the most well-intentioned juror, it would have been impossible to avoid this. People online. The most well-intentioned juror, it would have been impossible for them to keep their oath. Right? Wow. And crowds outside the courthouse made it clear where they stood. Every single day I passed for three, four, sometimes six blocks, city blocks lined with people holding signs saying burn the witch, death to Amber. And after three and a half weeks, I took the stand and saw just a courtroom packed full of Captain Jack Sparrow fans who were vocal, energized. Can you put into words how? Blame the jury, blame the crowd, blame TikTok, blame the people outside. She's blaming, I've never seen this. Like, like who else you gonna, so now we got the jury. Then we got the people on TikTok and social media. Now we got the people outside the courtroom, right? <laughs> She's blaming everybody. <coughs> like who else you gonna blame for this loss, right? The, it's like, this is unbelievable. Everybody's to blame.